Hey y'all, it's me, Mrs. Tuttle, the PE teacher at Nelson Elementary, and I'm gonna help you figure out how to find your heart rate, which is your pulse in your neck. We're gonna do it right now, you ready? It's super simple. So, all you need is your two fingers and your face, which you have both of. So, here it is. You're gonna take your two fingers, just like this. You're gonna put them right in front of your ear. See that, right in front of my ear. And then I'm gonna go straight down, whoop, straight down to my jawline, which is this bone right there. And then keep going down a little farther till it gets a little softer. And then you're gonna press up and into your neck. Okay, see that? I'm up and into my neck. I'm not all the way back here under my ear. I'm not all the way in the front by my throat. I'm literally two fingers right in front of my ear like when we do our helmet check for our bike unit. And you go straight down to your jaw. Keep going till it gets soft. And then press up into your neck. You might have to press a little harder than you think. But I promise, if you're being quiet, because when you talk, you can't feel it. If you're being quiet and you're concentrating and you're doing it right. There it is. I found it. It's right there. So make sure that you are finding your pulse with your two fingers next to you in front of your ear. Just go straight down past that jawline into the soft part. Press up. Remember to be quiet. Can you feel it? And then hold it because you're gonna have to count with your teacher. So your teacher will tell you when to start and when to stop. You start counting with one with every pulse that you feel. And then after the six seconds and they say stop, you're gonna add a zero to whatever that number is. So if I did it and I counted seven beats in that six seconds, I would just add a zero to the end of that and that would make it a seven, go to a 70. And then I would say 70 was my resting heart rate. So now that you've found your resting heart rate, before you can get your exercise heart rate, which we'll do in a few minutes, you have to do the actual functional fitness step challenge. And to help us out with that, I knew the perfect person. It's my cousin. We call her Step Up Stella. So she's going to help us out with that. And then your teacher's going to help you figure out your exercise heart rate. But guess what? It's the same thing that we already did. It's where you put your two fingers here, go straight down, fill up into your neck. You're going to count. But guess what? Your pulse is going to go a lot faster the next time. So... That's all you're gonna do for the rest of it. And enjoy Step Up Stella, cause she's coming right now. Hello children, it's me, Stella. Or as people call me, Step Up Stella, cause I'm always stepping up to the challenge. And I hear that you got a challenge too. So I'm gonna help you out doing that step challenge for your functional fitness. So let's get it done. What you're gonna need is a step that you can step up and down on. And also listen to your teacher because they're gonna have a timer that tells you what to do and how long to do it, okay? Let's get it going. Let's step it up. Are you ready to step it up? Because I am. Let's go. Keeping beat with the tempo. Make sure you're looking at your step for safety. We're working our cardio respiratory endurance. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. You're doing great. We got two minutes left. Keep going. Up, up, down, and down. You're really stepping it up with me. I love it. Guess what? We're about halfway done. Keep going. You might be feeling it in your legs. That's good. It means you're using them. Less than one minute to go. Keep it up. Up, up and down.
down and down. You got it guys, 30 more seconds. We're at the last 10 seconds. Then we gotta feel for our pulse again. In three, two, and one, and done. Now feel for your pulse, remember, two fingers in front of your ear, drop down below your jaw into the soft part and try to feel your pulse. Good job.